hello everyone welcome back to your own chemistry channel and you're watching dmg chemistry classes and myself dr mahindra guleria associate professor in chemistry from this video i am going to start a new chapter chemical equilibrium but before coming on to this topic let us quickly recapitulate reversible and irreversible reactions so let us define reversible reactions first so a reaction in which not only the reactants react to form products under certain conditions but the products also react to form reactants under same conditions okay in other words reversible reaction takes place not only in the forward direction but also in the reverse direction and these reactions are represented by putting a double arrow between the reactants and the products and these reactions are further categorized into two categories number 1 is homogeneous reversible reactions and number 2 is heterogeneous reversible reactions okay homogeneous reversible reactions are those reactions in which the, all the reactants and products are present in same phase okay so here uh, i have an uh, two examples of uh, the reactions or the homogeneous reversible reactions occurring in gaseous phase in first example one mole of hydrogen is reacting with one mole of iodine to give us two moles of hydroiodic acid and in second one mole of nitrogen is reacting with three moles of hydrogen uh, giving us two moles of ammonia gaseous so in these reactions all the reactants and the products are present in the gaseous phase okay and uh, here i have an example of homogeneous reversible reaction occurring in liquid phase Uh, in this example one mole of acetic acid is react, uh, reacting with one mole of ethyl alcohol giving us one mole of ethyl acetate and one mole of water so all the reactants and products are present in liquid phase uh, now let us uh, discuss the heterogeneous reversible reactions so these are the reactions in which the reactants and the products can be present in two or more than two phases okay examples are Uh, in the first example three moles of iron solid are reacting with four moles of water vapors uh, giving us one mole of fe3o4 solid and four moles of uh, hydrogen gaseous and in second example one mole of calcium carbonate solid is decomposed into one mole of calcium oxide and one mole of carbon dioxide okay so these are the examples of heterogeneous reversible reaction now let us define the irreversible reactions if a reaction cannot take place in the reverse direction that is the product do not react to give back the reactants under the same conditions then a reaction is called as irreversible reaction okay so let us write some examples of irreversible reactions so in first example one mole of silver nitrate aqueous is reacting with one mole of sodium chloride aqueous and these reactions are represented by putting a single arrow between the reactants and the products like this and it gives us one mole of silver chloride solid plus one mole of sodium nitrate aqueous in another example two moles of magnesium solid are reacting with one mole of oxygen gaseous to give us two moles of magnesium oxide solid so these are some examples of irreversible reactions now let us discuss chemical equilibrium okay equilibrium so friends in the beginning of a reversible reaction the rate of the forward reaction is maximum and that of backward reaction is minimum because in the beginning the concentration of the reactant is maximum and the concentration of the products uh, is minimum okay so what as the reaction progresses or with the passage of time the concentration of the reactants decreases and the concentration of the products increases 
and accordingly the rate of forward reaction decreases and rate of backward reaction increases and a stage comes when the rate of forward reaction becomes equal to the rate of backward reaction then the reaction is said to uh, or said to have attained the state of chemical equilibrium okay when the rate of forward reaction becomes equal to the rate of backward reaction so let us represent it diagrammatically so here along y axis we have rate of uh, of the reaction or rate of the reversible reaction <coughs> and along x axis we have time okay so as i said that in the beginning of the reaction the rate of forward reaction is maximum that is it is maximum and rate of the backward reaction is minimum that is minimum okay and as the reaction progresses the rate of forward reaction will decrease and rate of backward reaction will increase like this okay so rate of the forward reaction will decrease and rate of the backward reaction will increase okay so here this curve is representing your forward reaction or the rate of forward reaction rate of forward reaction and this curve is representing the rate of backward reaction okay and as i said that the rate of forward reaction is decreasing and rate of backward reaction is increasing and a stage will come when the rate of forward reaction will become equal to the rate of backward reaction and that point at which the rate of forward reaction becomes equal to rate of backward reaction is called as equilibrium point okay so this point is your equilibrium point and here rate of forward reaction is equal to rate of backward reaction so this is the diagrammatic representation of chemical equilibrium so now let us define chemical equilibrium okay so in a reversible reaction when the rate of forward reaction becomes equal to becomes equal to backward reaction then the reaction is at the state of chemical equilibrium state of chemical equilibrium okay so this is the definition of chemical equilibrium so friends as i said that at equilibrium the rate of forward reaction becomes equal to the rate of backward reaction this means that at equilibrium as much of the reactant reacts to form products uh, in a particular time the same amount of products will react to give back reactants in the same time okay this means that at equilibrium the concentration of the products and the reactants becomes constant provided that temperature remains constant okay so at equilibrium the concentration of the reactants and the products will become constant okay and at equilibrium it seems that the reaction has stopped but it doesn't because at equilibrium both reactions that is the forward reaction and backward reaction goes on uh, with equal speeds okay so this means that this chemical equilibrium is in dynamic in nature 
it doesn't stop at the equilibrium okay and uh, it is not static understood so this uh, in this video i have given you a very small idea about the reversible and irreversible reactions and chemical equilibrium and in my upcoming videos i will uh, uh, keep on di uh, discussing the various aspects of chemical equilibrium okay and in my next video i will discuss the law of chemical equilibrium and the different types of equilibrium constants so please keep watching my videos like and share my videos and subscribe uh, subscribe my channel thank you very much